Now, people, I don't care about any of your ideology. The only thing I care about is that you don't cause unnecessary harm. So if your religion demands you to harm animals or excuse their execution for no good reason, I oppose you. No matter if you are an atheist, what? Funny enough, according to the logical definition of a religion, is a religion, it is in an, it is a belief that God does not exist. That's atheism. Anti or yes, anti a theism. Believing in God. Do you understand what I mean? I don't care if you are a Hindu. I don't care if you are one Taoist and Jew. I don't care about if you are an um, if you believe in some self-created religion. The only thing we have to have in common is that we will cause not unnecessarily cruelty. That we are rational. Good people. And let me be honest. Eating animals is unnecessary. We can easily survive on plants only. We can eat things like pumpkin, like apples, and potatoes. We can eat rice and pastas. We can eat mangoes and khaki fruits and many uh, more plant foods. There are more than 3000 kinds of plant foods you can eat. So, please stop paying people to harm animals. They don't want to be a part of your pleasure, of your entertainment. Of your taste spots, like women don't want to be sex toys with a rapist, misogynist, or something like that. They want to be let alone. They want to be loved. They want to be respected, and they don't want to be seen like an inanimate object. Blacks are not here to be slaves for whites, or whites are not be slaves are here to be slaves for Arabs. Yes, I know about the Ottoman Kingdom. And I also know what Ottoman people have done in India. You don't have to educate me on that kind of stuff. Because I 100% know what was happened there. And don't talk about apartheid in, in Israel. Do you know that in the time of the Ottoman Kingdom, Jew, um, Jews and Christians were seen as second class citizens? According to the Sharia law, only Muslims can, according to the Sharia law, uh, not be turned in property in slaves, chattel. That's what rule in the Ottoman Kingdom. When you're not paying the idea, you was not a Muslim. You want a slave. Understand what I mean? I am sick. Of all the people worshipping things they have made in the name of their gods. I'm sick of people worshipping books like the Bible, the Quran, and the Tanakh. I'm sick and tired that people worship anything they have created and disregard and destroy anything that their gods have created. Or their of or other nature of created or whatever what I worship. This is for the theistic people. Start to worship things your gods actually have created. Start to worship the plants. 
the animals, the earth, the forest, the waters, the air. And stop with worshipping things you have created in an in image of your God. The Bible, the Quran, the Tanakh, the Hadith, the Old Testament. It's now time, it's now time to put it away and worship God because he is in his creations. He is not in a book. Allah, Yahweh, um, or how you want to call them, God, does not exist in a book. He exists in the animals. He exists, he exists in the forest. He exists in the water. He exists in anything he has created. And if you are destroying that, you are destroying God piece by piece. Furthermore, I always heard from religious people, um, no matter what kind of religion, that there are uh, theistic people, um, that they believe that God is with mercy, that their God is compassionful, that their God is benevolent, that there is good, that it is a God, good God. Please, people, understand. If God allowed and go on all the cruelty that we do to the other animals, if God say it is good to torture animals in fifth section laboratories, torture them and murder them in concentration camps, so we, we, we so euphemistically refer as slaughterhouses. What in the hell can the devil do to animals and the earth? In other words, if you believe your God allowed and commands and finds it so glorious good, the things we do to, the, to his creations, then the God you glorify is nothing better than the devil you condemn. If this take but shock you, or feel, brings feelings of animosity against me. It is maybe because you have not been watched anything, any moment from the victim's point of view, from the animal's point of view. You're a self-entitled prick. Can't. I believe their rights of exploiting others is more important than the freedom of others. My words are hard and controversial maybe to you. It does not mean that it is not true. I suggest slave masters are also very angry on slave abolitionists when they say that slavery was wrong and slavery was barbaric. I suggest they will say something like this. The abolition is reasoning in the abstract. If it be some moral or political problem, or a major question in politics, in the recklessness and arrogance that forgets completely our position and our rights, the destruction of our property. La -di -la -la -la. Don't become an arrogant, self-entitled prick like James Hammond. I must say, if I get not, go vegan. There's no excuse against vegans. Accept it, make a plea and move on.